Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Sonika and today the recipe that we're making is a sweet potato and rosemary mash. Let's quickly take a look at the ingredients. Sweet potato cut into cubes, fresh breadcrumbs, fresh cream, parmesan cheese powder, butter, chopped parsley, red chilli flakes, chopped garlic, rosemary, lemon juice, salt. Now that we've seen all the ingredients, let's start preparing the recipe for which we'll use the sweet potatoes first and we want to boil them. So what we've done here is we've peeled it and we've cleaned it nicely and cut it into cubes. So let's put this into the pan along with some water and we're going to boil it with an absorption method. And this is very similar to how you prepare potatoes for a mashed potatoes. So let's get these into a pan along with all of the liquid. And now I'm going to cover this and cook it till the point that all of the liquid is absorbed and then we're going to add some more liquid and cook it again. So it's been a couple of minutes and the sweet potatoes have absorbed all of the water that they've been cooking in and they've gone nice and mushy. At this point I'm going to add in some more water. So let's add in very little more water just to make sure that they absorb this also and they're perfectly cooked. At this point I'm going to salt it a little. So let's get some salt, give it a mix. And just keep mashing it with the back of your spoon. And now we're going to cook this till the mixture goes relatively dry. So this is done. Let's get this off the heat and start preparing the amazing flavorings that go into the sweet potato mash. So let's take this off the gas. Keep it aside for a bit. And I'm going to get a pan on heat. In this pan, I'm going to heat some oil. So let's get a little bit of oil. To the oil, I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to use butter whilst preparing the mash so it's nice and creamy and smooth. And the oil is just so that the butter doesn't burn. So we're going to wait for this to go slightly warm. Now once the butter is melted, let's add in some chopped garlic. And I'm going to saute this till it goes very light golden brown in colour. So once the garlic goes this light golden brown in colour like it has gone now, I'm going to add in the sweet potato. So. Let's add in the boiled and the mashed sweet potato into this. And I'm going to mix this up really well. And at this point I'm going to turn the flame low and we're going to add a couple more ingredients to this. Let's add in some fresh cream. In goes some fresh cream. Some salt. Now since we're making a rosemary flavoured sweet potato mash, let's add in some rosemary. So I've got some fresh rosemary with me. I'm just going to get it off the sprigs. Give it a good mix now. Let's add in a couple more things. Some red chilli flakes for some spice. Let's also add in some fresh parsley. And to cut out from the sweetness of the sweet potatoes, let's add in some lemon juice. So the juice of about half a lime and I'm going to give all these ingredients a good mix again. Now this is good to go just like this as well but we're going to go one step ahead and we're going to bake it so it's all the more tastier. I'm just going to let this cook for about a minute more on high heat and then we're going to transfer it into a casserole. Now let's turn off the heat and add in a knob of butter more and I'm going to give this a good mix just to incorporate all the butter in. So we're going to transfer this into a casserole now and we're going to bake it and this dish forms a great side for any kind of meat and even a vegetable preparation. I'm just going to transfer this into the baking tray and now I'm just going to tap it a little so it's nice and levelled up. Now let's top this up with a mixture of breadcrumbs and parmesan cheese powder. Let's sprinkle some parmesan cheese powder first. You could use any other kind of cheese if you wanted to as well. And now we're going to mix the breadcrumbs along with the parmesan cheese powder. And we're going to make a delicious crust out of it. So a nice sprinkling of it. So you get a nice layer. And now we're going to bake this in a preheated oven for about 10 to 12 minutes or till the crust is nice and golden brown in colour. So a sweet potato and rosemary mash is perfectly gratinated and it's out of the oven. It's got a nice crispy crust. And we're just going to finish this off with some rosemary sprigs. So just drop in a couple. So here it is, a sweet potato and a rosemary mash, which is such a refreshing change from the usual mashed potato. Make sure you try this recipe because it is a fabulous one.
Hi, this is Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and it is where you'll find a number of brilliant recipes. So if you really like the recipes and are learning something from them, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button.